So ladies and gentlemen, MY05 C200 Compressor Sport Elegance. I know it's a bit of a mouthful, but this was one of the top of the range aside from things like C320 or C32 AMG. But it was far more sensible than either of those cars. We're looking at a two litre compressor sport. So bigger, better, nicer alloy wheels. Interior is more advanced. You get full wood grain interior. This one has leather seats. So they're not that MB Tex or Lex or whatever you want to call it. It's a full leather interior. Sport gets you that aluminium coloured uh, gear shifter, stainless steel foot brake and accelerator pedal. Sorry it's a bit dark, we're going to go and turn the light on in a minute and get a bit more light in here. But the colour is called Cubanite Silver. So it's sort of a champagne, goldy, silvery colour. It's a little bit wet because we just gave it a wash. Tinted windows, I'm just going to come over here and put the light on so we can get a little bit more... Uh, have a look. Whilst I'm doing that, you can have a look around our showroom and see exactly the sort of cars that we sell. Mercedes, BMWs. There's a bit more light now. So, we've got a tinted windows, a cruise control, a speed limiter, CD player. It even bips at you to tell you that the sunroof's open. The sportier, more modern C-class steering wheel. And ladies and gentlemen, it may have done 147,000 kilometres since 2005, but... It's nothing. It's nine years old. It's under 20,000 a year. The car's got one or two tiny little marks on it. But you know when you just get in a car, it just feels right. It's been well serviced. It's got log books from new. It's got spare keys and it drives beautifully. Finding a good C-Class for 15 grand is really easy. You really need to just tick all the boxes. <clears throat> Colour combination, drivability, options, you know, the resale value is probably quite important as well because of the actual model and just the way that these cars generally feel. Grippy steering wheels, no scratchiness on the actual headlamps. The dashboard doesn't seem all sort of marked and worn. The buttons and the dials aren't all deteriorated. You can see here, it is in particularly good order. Buttons on the steering wheel, obviously in here, you'll see you can put your Bluetooth you just buy a little connector from uh, eBay and everything will go through that central console or the steering wheel. So I'm just going to start it up so you can have a listen to it. And as you'll see, no lights on the dash. Now see there it says service exceeded by 84 days. Well that's not exactly true. It has actually been serviced and it's not due if you let this get in focus. Um, 152,000 kilometres. So just give us a sec. There it is there. So it's actually not due, the camera's just finding it hard to focus, but there you go. So basically, um, we have a scanning uh, device here, which we can reset that software to say that it's not due for a service for a while. But again, it's an 05, it is absolutely beautiful, everything works, dual zone climate control air conditioning, I'll put the radio on and you can hear that. So we're called the Old Timer Centre, we're located in Marrickville, New South Wales got about 50 or 60 cars in stock and all we do is sell Mercs, BMWs, let's turn the lights off, uh, Audis, Ferraris even, there's a Porsche out the front there. We're at 101 to 103 Illawarra Road in Marrickville. My name's Richard or you can see Philip. Thanks for watching.